We are officially living in an era of pretty much fake music content. We're getting to a point where content now on the internet, whether it's TikTok or Instagram or YouTube Shorts, people are making videos, artists are making videos, promoting their music, building their audience, growing their fan base, if you wanna call it that, based on the premise of deception. And I think this is crazy. I think it's ridiculous. And to be honest with you, I'm not making any friends by making this video. Like, like I, as an artist, am not making any friends by making this video because I'm directly calling out what is becoming a very popular thing to do in social media. And I just wanna say, I've been doing YouTube and I've been doing content for a long time. I'm coming up on eight years on YouTube. Eight years, okay? So I'm not one of these like flash in the pan type dudes. I've been doing this for quite a long time. I've been able to build a pretty successful career doing it. And I can tell you right now that I've seen people build and grow using questionable methods who they do this, 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 and boom, they just disappear. And you wanna know something? I think that if you look at the way that artists are trying to grow utilizing social media right now, specifically making social media that is deceptive. We'll get into what I mean by this and what I don't mean by this because there are some nuances here that I think are really important to discuss. What I wanna do right now is walk you through some things that I think are objectively wrong. You should not be doing. The main point here is don't lie to people. That should be the core premise. I, I would really love it if we could just all agree that lying is wrong. And what I've been noticing is it's extremely frustrating, okay? I've actually paid to be in courses, I've paid to learn in environments where there's private communities and there's discussion of people who are all aiming to learn. It drives me crazy to think that there are people who are teaching this saying, if you want to be viral, if you want to grow, then guess what? You're just gonna have to stage and fake things. 95% of what you see is already staged anyway. It's just part of how you do the game and you just gotta change how you think about it. You just gotta reframe. You gotta have a little mindset shift. You wanna know something I've heard for years and years and years? Cause I've, again, I've been doing this for quite a while. Okay, like I'm not some schmuck. Whenever someone says, you just gotta have a mindset shift. To me, oftentimes that is code word for you need to ignore your gut feeling about something being wrong and instead come up with the justification for it. So let's actually talk about what I'm specifically referring to. Now, I'm not gonna name any names. I'm not gonna talk about anyone specific. I don't think I need to for us to know what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about are people, artists specifically, doing videos like this. I'll give you an example. You have an artist sitting in a studio here, hanging out, chilling. He's got a buddy behind him on the couch or she has a buddy behind him on the couch, says, hey, listen to this song, what does this make you think of? Give me three words, give me three random words. Oh, all the, all the while too. Uh, the, the text on the top here, the, the headline text that you see right away that's supposed to hook you says, freestyling over three random words. Okay, do we know what the word freestyle means? Can we, can we all agree that freestyle means improvised, right? Okay, just you know, just seeing. By the way, I'm not talking about Harry, uh, Harry Mack. Harry Mack's actually one of the good ones. There are good ones, okay? I'm not trying to say everyone's lying to you. That's not what I'm saying. But then they, they, they come up with like, oh, like, you know, here's the three random words, and then they do the whole, the, here's, here's it goes. Okay, okay, I gotta think about this for a second. And then they start singing, it's like a banger. And then you come to find out that that song's actually like a super viral song. Oh dang, I had no idea that that's how that song was made. Now I know some of you are gonna say, Nathan, <laughs> of course it's staged. Well, maybe you should go look at the comment section. Because what happens is, is if you go to the comment section, the number of comments you're, of your, in the comment section, you're gonna see if people saying, man, I can't believe that's how the song was made. Okay, that's a problem, right? That's a problem. If you are going to make content where it's like, hey, it's just a skit. Because this is very likely what many of these content creators would say. It's just a skit, what's the big deal? Well, well, the big deal is that you're doing it in a way that it doesn't appear to be a skit. You're also using text on the top there that seems to indicate that you're okay with essentially lying to people. All right, this is actually several days after I was filming this video and I have a perfect example to show you what happens when you lie to people or you at least come across like you're lying to people and then admit that you lied to people and admit that everything was all fake, you made something up and uh, I'm gonna show you what people actually feel about this. So in the case that you think it's not that big of a deal, I'm gonna show you. This video right here is called, I wish I never went to this party. And this video, if you've not watched it, is essentially about this individual. He's telling this from in first person, the story in first person, as if he went through this experience of being in Hollywood and then being invited to this party. He's an up and coming creator and essentially makes up this crazy story of being brought into this party where essentially it's like a cult and the occult and the secret society type thing. You can just watch the video if you want, okay? You can watch the video. 
it's presented in an incredibly real way. Now, for me, when I started listening to this video, when I started watching the video, my initial thought was, I don't know if I believe this. I don't know if this is true. There were some, there were some red flags going on in my brain. But as the video goes on, it actually becomes more and more believable as you listen to the story. And what I wanna show you first and foremost is, is look at the views, 1.1 million views, but look at the comments, over 10,000 comments. If you know anything about YouTube and you know anything about comments and ratios on a, on a video with a million views, typically you would see between two and 3,000 comments, not 10,000 comments. So let's see, clearly everyone knows this is not real, right? We all know it's not real. Well, Jim Carrey tried to warn people about this, no one took him seriously. Is there, I just wanna basically look through this real quick. How many of these comments are articulating that this was obviously not true, not real, right? Let's see. Any of these? This makes me think of all the at child actors, young people whose lives fall apart. Okay, yep, mm hmm Interesting too, how many of these uh, comments here are essentially saying I actually was trying to get into this and something actually happened to me like this, right? People basically saying, um, yeah, this is, this is pretty close. Any of these comments here? You need to be careful, right? If you tell a story, people might come after you. I was an actress in LA in the early 2000s, and it goes on to tell a story, right? Look at this, I always believe the movie's eyes wide shut was based on real events, then I, things I've heard, this is, this seems real. This seems real, this seems real, this seems real, this seems real. Sad thing is that even though things like this get exposed, there always seems to be desperate people who will comply. I literally had to pause this video to absorb what this is saying. Thank you for speaking up. Thank you for sharing the story. Does it seem like anyone thinks this is fake? Does this, does this seem like anyone here thinks that this is actually completely made up. So let's look at this. He goes on the Julian Dory podcast and says, of course it was all fake. Of course it was all fake. And what does this person do? Essentially, essentially puts it out like, you thought it was real? Artists are making videos, putting themselves out there, doing these skits. Oh, well, of course it's staged. Of course it's fake. You know, you know what you're saying to your audience? You are stupid if you think this is real. You're an idiot. You're stupid for thinking this is real. So you're about to find out what happens when you address and say, I made it up. I staged it. I faked it. Here we go. Can't believe I was buying his story. I don't want to hear fake stories. I want real stories. I'm sorry. Does no one else find it weird that part two of his version? So he basically made a part two trying to authenticate his story. And then here he admits that it's all fabrication. Am I alone? I don't get this. In the olden days, we called these people liars. Benjamin Franklin said it best, either write something worth reading or do something worth writing. If you make up a fake story, own it. Basically, he's a clickbaiter, an artist of embellishment, tapping out of this one. The party saga isn't creative. It just literally is deceptive and leaves a bad taste. These are men these days. I listened to the one like two weeks ago and believed everything actually happened. There's a big difference between storytelling and misinformation. This clickbait is getting ridiculous. Everything is fake. You can choose to be a part of it and lie by calling it art. You can actually be authentic and help people. F folks, folks, this, this is what happens. This is, this is what happens when, when stuff comes out. Do, do you want to be this way? Do you want to be this way? Back to the video. Now here's what I don't mean. I'll give you an example of a good skit. Connor Price, great example of someone making wonderful content where he does skits with himself. <laughs> So it's obviously a skit. It's obviously for entertainment purposes. It's obviously for us to enjoy. And it's kind of like a fun, creative way of talking about how a song was made when everyone knows that's not how a song was made. Now, I was given an analogy recently by someone trying to make the argument for me, to me, why this isn't a big deal. And the argument was this. The argument was, <sighs> If you find out that a magician is actually just using an illusion on you, it's not actually magic, are you really mad about it? To which I said, no, because literally no one thinks that magic is real. Literally no one goes to a magic show and is like, oh, pff, holy crap, I had no idea. How is that real? That's, he's actually a wizard, Harry. So if, if, if in, in fact, I'll take it one step further. The fact that it's an illusion makes it that much better because we know it's not magic. So instead we know this person had to spend an incredible amount of time honing a skill set to be able to do something that appears to be magic that is in fact not magic. That is a skill, that is a talent, that is a gifting. You see what I'm saying here? Okay, so let's, let's talk about social media for a second. Is that the same? Is, is, is this actually what we're talking about? Because again, let's just go to the comment section for a second. Um, I see one of two things. One, can we please stop with the stage content? Like this is really cringe. 
Also, by the way, when you find out that all this stuff is, is faked, all this stuff is staged, try watching it and not thinking it's cringe. I dare you. Because I personally can't. I personally see these videos and I'm like, this is, this is really hard to watch. Like the whole like, mm, let, me, let me think here, what, what are the lyrics that I wanna come up with? And I'm like, I wasn't expecting to get this fired up. I'll give you another example of stage content. Holding a sign up in a random like university campus setting or in a park or whatever. If you have depression, sit down. If you're anxious, sit down. If you're any number of different, if you're having what, all these things, right? Any, any number of different things, sit down. And then some unknowing stranger, oh, I'm depressed, sits down, listen to the song, I'm not depressed anymore. <laughs> like, uh. But these videos are getting millions of views, millions of views. And here's the thing, this is flash in the pan. Flash in the pan. Because here's the thing, audiences are not stupid. Audiences are not dumb. If you are one of these people making content like this, I guarantee you in six months to a year, you're not gonna be making content like that. Wanna know why? Because you're gonna start figuring out that you know what, actually people are getting really pretty dri driven nuts by this content. They already are. They already are. Go to the comment section. Once again, just, just do it, just, I, you know, whatever. And you're gonna see the number of people that say, can we please just stop this? Can we please stop faking this? Can we stop with the stage content? I've talked about this before on this channel. People are craving authenticity. If you are an artist and you wanna build a fan base, you, I'm gonna tell you something. You don't build a fan base that sticks with you thick and thin by lying to them, by deceiving them, by tricking them. In fact, in fact, you run the risk of actually pissing people off. In fact, you run the risk of now people having a really bad taste in their mouth. And I know that for as many people as there are that say, it's not a big deal, I don't really care. You gotta think about the people that do care. And I'm just gonna say right now, if it's even 25% of people that care, that's not worth the risk. Are you really willing to risk 25% of your audience who would be really like pretty upset if they found out that everything that you did was not real? Would you be okay with that? 25%, I run a business and I can tell you right now, if, if we have a 25% drop, that is significant. That is a big deal. I, I, I really think that we are living in a time where when you look at celebrities and when you look at people who are famous from 10, 15, 20 years ago, I think a lot of people understand that, hey, like a lot of times they're having to step on people and they're doing things and there's a lot of shady stuff that goes on. But I think right now we're living in a time where we can do shady stuff by the, by the pulling out the phone and clicking record. And I think it's wrong. I, I think it's messed up that people are doing this whole mental gymnastics of, well, I mean, is it, is it really wrong? Is it really wrong? Like we blurred the lines so much. And, and here is in my mind, something that's really important to talk about. Are you doing this for you? Or are you doing this for your audience? Do you care more about you and your success and your numbers? Because I'm gonna tell you something, I would be willing to bet you a lot of money. The vast majority, I'm not saying all, but the vast majority of these people making the content, it's completely out of selfish desire. It's absolutely selfish. What do I get out of it? I was having a discussion with someone about this in a private community and these justifications are being made. It's not a big deal. I mean, everyone does it, all the things, none of which are convincing, by the way. I don't think any of these arguments are good arguments. You are literally trying to convince yourself that it's okay to lie to people because of what you get out of it. We, we, we do these like mental, we, we tie ourselves into a mental pretzel, trying to justify why it's okay to do these things, why it's okay. And let's talk about what I'm not talking about. What I'm not talking about is music videos. I'm not talking about music videos. Like, of course, everyone knows you're lip syncing in a music video. I'm not talking about funny comedy skits where obviously that's not actually what happened. But the thing is, is that no, none of these creators would ever put any sort of text on screen or in the caption, like it's just a skit on any of these videos because you know what they would say? They would say, well, that takes away from the video. Hmm, interesting, it takes away from the video. It's almost like, almost like you want people to believe it's real, interesting. You'll also notice, by the way, all these videos are filmed to look uh, like the angles are typically filmed in a way where it's like the phone's kind of tucked in somewhere to look as if it's like almost like secretly being recorded. Why do you think that is? Because it helps make it feel more authentic and real. It, it makes you feel like you're dropping in on them as opposed to having like someone holding an actual camera and like, you know, moving around with them, making it look like it was clearly, you know, staged. And here's the thing, um, apparently, I'm in the minority. 
That's that's the thing I think is so crazy about this. Apparently, I'm in the minority thinking that this is this is not okay. Uh, the discussions I've had so far online in private communities, the way that I've had these interactions with people, I, I will say I will say I've been actually um, a little bit discouraged, to be frank. Been pretty discouraged about how many people don't see the problem with this. I think this is wrong. You need to start thinking about your audience. If you are an artist, if you're a producer, whatever it is, think about your audience. I would not be able to do what I do if all I gave a crap about was me. I wouldn't be able to do it. Because <laughs> it turns out people care about themselves. Audience people, what do I get out of this video? What do I get out of this? What relationship am I building with my fans? Am I building a relationship where they say, man, I love, I love the content, I love the music, I resonate with it. it. Like just, I'm thinking of like a Cody Fry. I don't know if you guys know, or Jacob Collier. Could you imagine Jacob Collier doing this? Could you even imagine Jacob Collier faking content? <laughs> like, I think we can all agree that he has a brand identity that he has built of real, of authentic, of talent, of skill. And so what we're doing is we're exchanging that for deception and lies because frankly, a lot of the people doing this stuff, maybe they're not even actually that good. So they have to kind of hide behind things. I just, I'm gonna plead with you. Don't do it. Don't do it, okay? I, I've been in the content game for long enough. Don't do it. Like comparatively, I'm like, I'm an old guy. I feel like the old guy on the block right now. I feel like, okay, boomer, I get it. Some of you might feel that way about me. That's fine. I don't really care. I'm talking about this as someone who has built a business who has a sustained career right now because of content. And I am telling you, I am telling you, grow your audience based on trust and honesty and transparency. Do not build an audience based on deception and tricking people. Don't do it. Because those cards are gonna fall later on. People might love your music, but I can tell you this too. Songs, they go up and then they fall back down. And so if you want a sustained career, if you blow one song up because of some viral content, that is not gonna last you a career. It's not gonna last you a career. But if you actually build a solid fan base who loves you and believes you and has a connection with you, that will. I think at the root of all this, evaluate. Are you making something to trick people or are you making something to tell a story? Those are two different things. You can tell a story without tricking somebody. You can do a fun skit. You can do a fun little dramatized thing without tricking people. There are ways of doing it. But if at the end of the day, if you, could, if you post a video and you know deep down in your heart, even 15, 20% of people are gonna think this is real when it's not real, I really think you gotta evaluate yourself. Take a look down in yourself. Are you making that content because of you, because you're selfish, or are you actually trying to create something for others to enjoy? That if they were to hear and see exactly how it was made, they wouldn't have a problem with it. Because here's the thing, the magic example, we all know it's an illusion. And we love that it's an illusion because it takes skill to create an illusion. When people stage and fake content, frankly, I'm just saying this, it takes no skill. It takes no skill. It does not take skill to do that. It does take skill to do something for real. Be honest, like the fact that I'm even having to say be honest, the fact that I'm even having to say just don't lie to people and that there are gonna be a number of you who are gonna go in the comments section and start coming up with all the reasons in the world why it's not a big deal. Don't lie to people.